and police are working several leads tonight in an armed robbery. The same restaurant hit twice in the last couple of weeks. Stores in nearby towns hit as well. News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck has all the details in his Crime Tracker report. Yes, the time frame that this happened, it was caught on that surveillance tape. However, the problem is the people who committed this crime were not. The reason for that? Well, the view from that camera is blocked by these soda machines. So the people who committed this crime just hugged up against the wall and went in. But you couldn't actually see who went through the door. Maiden Police Chief Troy Church says that lack of video hurts a bit. It, it doesn't give you a, a, a face value. It doesn't give you eye to eye contact or, or an ability to actually put somebody there. They were. Dressed in black, wearing masks or bandanas, toting guns, the robbers forced employees to the back, then stole money from the register. A witness wrestled with one on the way out, but they still got away. You hear that stuff in Hickory and Charlotte, but not here. Other recent armed robberies aren't far away. Here's the video. Masked gunman robbing a Claremont grocery store and putting a gun to the manager's head. A Hickory restaurant worker pistol whipped when she can't open the safe. Investigators aren't sure if it's the same people. Similarities include how they're dressed and how they cover their faces. Golden China, it's been robbed twice in the last couple of weeks. People are afraid. They're concerned because there, there seems to be a preponderance of it. That has stores double checking their own surveillance, police stepping up rides through business parking lots, and urging businesses to carry less cash in their tills. Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36. Well, students at UNC Charlotte.